Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before you get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join a hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe, hit the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. I want to do a video on the Buffalo Sabres. You know, the past week has brought a lot of interesting news to this team. Their head coach, Ralph Kruger, was fired. So in this video, I want to talk about that and possible options that they have for um, head coaching availability for the upcoming year. And also the trade deadline's coming up a couple of weeks away on April 12th. So, um... They said that the Sabres are wide open for business and a lot of key names have been mentioned and they already pulled the trigger on a trade. So I want to talk about that in this video and see where they go with that. So I'm going to start off with the Ralph Kruger firing. Um, Ralph Kruger has been relieved of his duties alongside assistant coach Steve Smith. Assistant coach Don Granado was promoted to interim head coach and Matt Ellis and Don, Dan Girardi will be assistant coaches on Granado's staff. Rasmus Ristolainen spoke on Kruger's firing. He said, I've seen so many head coaches and GM changes. I feel like it's more about players, but you can't fire players. And that's very true. That happens every time when you see a struggling team. The first thing that tends to go is always the head coach gets fired. And Buffalo Sabres fans were waiting for this to happen. You know, it was loss after loss. The question became, when is it going to happen? When is he going to get fired? You know, it's just, you saw this team just going downhill. You know, a lot of areas needed to be addressed. And you were waiting for that to happen, and it finally did happen. You know, I know a lot of um, fans, I know a lot of players really liked Kruger. He was a, a player's coach. He was a good guy, but, um, you know, this is something that needed to happen. This team needs a culture change, especially from the head coaching position. And um, there is a lot of interesting options out there. And I want to name a couple in this video, especially one key one, which is Ricard Gromberg. And I saw that um, the Sabres Buzz post uh, twi uh, tweeted this out. And I wanted to share it because it's very interesting. And I know a lot of guys and girls aren't familiar with this name. So I want to talk about him a bit. So they said that um, Ricard Gromberg has been on my radar for three years. I think it's time for Ricard Gromberg to be rewarded with his first head coaching opportunity. And right now he's committed to the Swiss League until the spring of 2021. And he's currently coaching the ZSC Lions. So um, he's really turned that team around. You know, they, they really had a, a great record under his... Um, you know, under his coaching. And Ricard Gromberg was linked to the Devils before they hired Lindy Ruff, and I really hope they would have went that way. But um, this guy is just, every time there's been a head coach that's um, a head coaching availability, his name's always on the list and always near the top. Um, but he's going to break the NHL one day. He's going to get in. I think he's going to be a really good coach. He is a stern coach that get his, gets his players to play good for him. So, um, I hope the Sabres look to him. I really do. I think with a lot of names out there, um, it's going to be very interesting to see where they go. You know, do they go for an expensive coach? Do they go for Gromberg who get uh, a lot less, but um, still have their team playing good for him? So, um, you know, let's just talk about a couple of names that are out there. Bruce Boudreau, I heard being linked to um, the Sabres since um, Kruger was fired. You know, Gallant's still out there. Julian was just fired from the Montreal Canadiens. So, there is a lot of established coaches out there that can help this team out if they're looking to go that route or if they're looking to go towards Gromberg, give him his first opportunity because I really think he's going to get a job with the NHL one day. So we'll see what happens with this as um, the season winds down and the Sabres really gear towards that and uh, pick their head coach going forward. But I um, also want to talk about the, the trade deadline. You know, April 12th, 12th is coming up. They made a key trade already, trading out uh, Jonas Johansson to the Avalanche for a sixth round pick. In the 2021 draft. Um, this was an interesting trade. You heard about it leaking out. The first couple of um, hours in the day. And you heard this officially become announced. Way later in the day. So it was an odd trade. You heard about it being tweeted. And you thought it was just a rumor. But then it actually happened. So um, they got the ball rolling on this. And you knew they're going to start. You're going to hear rumors come out. You're going to hear trades coming out. As we're a couple of weeks away. But um, you heard that the Buffalo Sabres are wide open for business. And they are listening on everyone. Per Elliot Friedman, they're listening to all options. I've heard questions on Sam Reinhardt. I've heard questions on Eric Stoll, uh, Montour, Middlestad, Taylor Hall. They're listening to all possibilities. And Eric Stoll said he's open to a trade, uh, to a playoff contender. Um, an anonymous NHL uh, an executive said that team's just not out there for the Sabres to trade with. And Stoll not worth more than a fourth round pick, which I totally disagree with. I think this guy could really get the, the Sabres a good return. You know, he's a good NHL veteran. He's a Stanley Cup champion. He could still play well on the ice for his age. I know he's up there in age, but um, he could still help a team uh, fulfill their depth down the middle and really be a key contributor in the playoffs and really help them with a playoff push. So 
I think this was just a ludicrous thing that came out today. I really think this, this, that the Sabres can get a good return for Stahl. And I really think that's where the way they have to have their mindset going into this um, this trade deadline. They have to win on a lot of trades. They have to get good returns for these players. You know, Jack Eichel is not going to happen this trade deadline. You know, I, it's going to be something that if it does happen, it happens in the offseason, which is a good thing. You want more time to talk to a lot of NHL teams to see, to, to get the best return if you're willing to go that route. I don't think they should, but we'll see what happens. But if they're willing to go that route, it's better that it happens in the offseason where they have more time to, you know, get more interest and see what they can get, what their best return would be. So they want to concentrate on players like Eric Stoll, Taylor Hall. You know, uh, Taylor Hall is going to be an interesting option. I think he could bring back a really good return. I know he's not having a really good year, but, um, you know, if the Sabres can retain a lot of his salary, um, which... You know, they, they they could at this point. You know, he's a UFA at year's end. But if they can retain a lot, they can get a better return. Um, you know, Hall is a player that a lot of teams are looking to add a top six talent. Um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But I think he can net them a good return. He got us a good return last year. So we'll see what happens with him and the Sabres this year. Um, Sam Reinhardt, if they're willing to trade him, we'll see what they're going to get for him. I think it could be a really good return. Uh, Montour, Irwin, they have a lot of players in this team that can get this team going in the right track, going going into the future. So, um, you know, I like what they've done in the past couple of drafts. I really like Quinn. I really like Paterka. I think those are going to be key players for the future. Darlene was a good pick. You know, they're, they're going the right way with certain um, players they have on their roster. You know, Darlene, I, I, I like the way he spoke out this year on saying that I like the players we have in the room, but it's just we're not getting it on the ice. Um, you know, he's been a good person with the media talking this year uh cousins has really rose his game to a really good level this year so you have good pieces but this is a year where they're going to trade out a lot of names they possibly could to get a good return and a good future going for this team as far as their prospects and picks so um we'll see what happens but um i thought this was a very interesting video to do as you know they're going forward with the trade deadline and with head coaching availability being a key concern for this team going into the next season so comment below what you think about this what head coach do you want and what do you want to happen this trade deadline comment below and let me know and as always thank you all so much for watching i really appreciate your time smash that like button if you haven't done so subscribe to the hockey skate down join our hockey team thank you all so much have a great rest of the day have a great night take it easy stay safe